Does anyone know if Chocolate Lab knows is clean Lego pieces? Hey guys, I need the help of any Lego cleaning experts out there. What you're looking at here are all of the pieces that were extremely filthy that came out of my $200 Lego yard sale haul. And I was gonna just be like, you know what, these things are beyond repair, but I thought I would give it a shot and see if I could clean them. And the pieces that you're seeing here have been cleaned twice now. The first time they went through, I wasn't happy with it. And now they went through again and I just came out to look at them. And once again, I'm not happy. And I'm hoping that maybe somebody could help me here find a way to clean pieces. And I'll give you like an example of what I'm talking about here. If you see down inside the little crevices there, it's just not super clean. And I've taken like a, I have like a very fine scrub brush type thing. It's probably like this big and you kind of just take it in through the pieces. And I did that extensively, but still there's some dirt in there and you can kind of see at the bottom of this one. I'll see if I can find some really bad pieces. These tires were really troublesome to try to clean. Trying to get inside there. I don't know how well you can see it, but it was just awful. Even in the bottom of these pieces like this, these plates, you can see the little bit of dirt that's in there that's super hard to get out. And I'm just wondering if these pieces can actually be saved because ah, it seems like a tragedy to throw away Lego bricks. And I have never done that in my life, but these ones were the ones that were played with outside and they just got really dirty and just disgusting. And that's kind of where we're at now. So I'm kind of stuck with these as they are. And I don't know whether I should maybe go through another cleaning, maybe like use a toothbrush as opposed to the the uh, scrub brush thing that I used. I'll go grab that so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Here's the little scrub brush thing that I was using. Maybe this isn't the right tool for the job, although these bristles seem to be pretty decent. And like I said, I just kind of worked those in, all of the holes and all that fun stuff, but still I'm left with things that don't really look as good as what I would have hoped. And I really don't want to have this stuff infiltrate my Lego collection the way it is. I'll try to show you again here. You can see just how deep in there that is. And again, I went through this every single piece individually. In fact, I was watching Brixar's videos while I did it. It's very entertaining to do that while I'm doing something that's so extremely boring. But that's sort of where I'm at here. Not too many pieces. I mean, out of that 45 pounds of Lego, these are the ones that were like, all right, these just, these can't just be rinsed off. These really gotta be scrubbed. And that's what I did two times. And I don't know if I'm gonna do a third time unless somebody has an idea on how to really get in here. Maybe it's just using a toothbrush. Maybe it's, I don't know. <laughs> As they stand, these can't go in my collection. And I thought maybe I'd make this video so someone can save me from throwing these things away because that's pretty much where I'm at right now.